So now in this video, we're going to take a closer look at this circuit I made with the relay. But uh, right now, the main thing I want you to pay attention to is we have this uh, bench power supply there. I know this is an odd setup, but it's hard to uh, get the circuit and the bench power supply in the uh, same camera shot. So voltage is all the way down. We have the current up a bit. And uh, in fact, let's turn it up more. And so we're going to increase the voltage. And you can see right now there's actually a voltage and some current going between those two points. The rest of the circuit is powered by a breadboard power supply. And uh, once we get up to about 3.3 volts, I think it is, now you can see that the uh, relay switched and that other LED came on. So this is a switch that's controlled by voltage and there's some hysteresis as you can see there we're lowering it to uh, another point before it will flip back there we go it flipped back and uh, this relay doesn't make as much noise as uh, the one on my low voltage uh, protection board so that's nice but in any case we can flip it on and off by switching the voltage so now this relay has five pins but they don't go into the board terribly easy, so I'm going to leave the relay in there for now. So one pin is where we have the red jumper here. The other pin is in the row where we have this uh, blue jumper there. And then the third pin comes uh, to this row there where we added this uh, jumper to the positive rail for the breadboard power supply. So the jumper coming in and the jumper going out when you think of conventional current. That goes to the bench power supply. We're controlling the voltage across here. There is an uh, inductor there. There's a coil, I should say. And so let's uh, turn the uh, voltage up. We're going to turn it up above three. Let's go up to five volts just, uh, just to get it to five volts. So right now, according to the bench power supply, which isn't terribly accurate, but it looks like we have about 60 milliamps of current going through that coil. I don't know what the maximum is. This is all stuff you got to look up. And uh, I just uh, figured out this circuit. This is my first relay circuit. So now, the reason why we have this LED here, so we got positive coming there, negative going over there. This LED is connected to those two same rows. The long lead though, the anode is there. Short lead, the cathode is there. That's why it's not going to light up. It's reversed biased. But if I yank the uh, power supply out, you should have been able to see that there was a flash there. Let's uh, flip it back. And then uh, let's cover the light. should be a little bit easier to see that we got a flash there. In fact, we made and broke contact a few times there. So there's an inductor there. Current's flowing through. If you yank that out quick, it doesn't want to stop that current instantly. If I turn down the power supply, then the current uh, lowers automatically and we don't have that problem. But we cut it instantly. That inductors want to keep, going to want to keep that current flowing. So it can do that through the LED until, uh, or a uh, rectifier dial to be even better, but the LED works. But it keeps current flowing until its magnetic field collapses completely. So now we come to the other side of the breadboard here and uh, the uh, relay. So you can see here we got the two resistors that go to the uh, negative rails. The LEDs are over there and right now th there's uh, the relay's off basically. Let's turn up the voltage. Now it flipped on and uh, that LED turned on. So basically we have a single pole double throw switch. So it starts at that positive side of the uh, breadboard here where we have the jumper comes up and depending on the position of the switch right now it's off so it is powering this one it's connecting the uh, long lead the anode of this LED to the uh, positive rail but if I turn the voltage up it flips to that one so now this one's connected to the uh, positive rail there to the long lead of the LED other end of the LED is a protective resistor. We're using 5 volts from this power supply. And uh, so I'm using 220 ohm resistors to protect the LEDs. 
So, now let's uh, pull it out of the breadboard. But first, the uh, relay that is, let's turn the uh, power off and turn the bench power supply off. Avoid any uh, surprises. And there we go, you can see the five pins there. So, the uh, two outputs there, the input in the middle there, and then for the inductor, the uh, control, we got uh, those two pins there. If you want to look at, uh, see if we can get it in focus. Doesn't look like we're going to get in focus right now. So, in any case, you can see that we got the LED there, the one uh, between the uh, red and blue jumper, the long lead, the anode. I have it bent because it's the longer one. Comes to the negative side this time instead of the positive because it's reverse biased. That way when the inductor tries to keep current flowing instead of making a big spark between the wires it just flows through the LED if you think of conventional current going from positive to negative. So now looks like I have to have it just like this for the camera to uh, show it and there's the part number at the bottom SRD and then 05VDC and then SLC so you just punch that into Google and hit data sheet and you'll get information about this component there's a little bit on the front there too but uh, any case I uh, don't really find any easy to understand circuits for for relays and uh, so I found the data sheet for this one and uh, looked at a couple other things and then I came up with being able to put together this circuit so hopefully if uh, you're frustrated too trying to figure out how uh, to use a relay and a circuit hopefully this helped you so thanks for watching and see you in the next one